All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechak Wadash, the by honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful electors fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. And saying, ye, and yet tookest thou not away from them a wicked heart that your law might bring forth fruit in them. So basically, um, Lord willing, this be a, um, a exhortation, which means an encouragement to not give up, to not allow, you know, the flesh weaknesses that we go through on a daily basis. You know, even with your wicked thoughts, you know, if you really, really believe in the Lord and you really want to please the Lord and you really want to make it, you really want to be perfect, you really want to be righteous, you got to understand that we are imperfect creatures. So don't beat yourself up. So and yet took us you not away from them a wicked heart that your law might bring forth fruit in them. For the first Adam bearing a wicked heart transgressed and was overcome. And so be all they that are born of him. The scripture said all of us come from Adam, right? Even the ones he chosen. So um, <clears throat> this is something that's ordained. This is something that the Lord once you know um the scripture said that he is only righteous in ecclesiasticus 18 and 1 i want to say let me make sure yeah how shall i say the two in um matthews 19 and 6 yep the lord is only righteous and there is none other but he so this is this is the way that the lord got it you know it's very, very hard to go through. It sucks. And that's why I always quote the scripture. The creature was made subjected to vanity, not willingly. You know, so like I said, I hope this video just be a, um, a, a exhortation, which means an encouragement to to, uh, to keep you going. You know, because we all fall. The scripture says that none do good. None do of good and sin of not. Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. All right. So it says, thus infirmity was permanent. In the law, also in the heart of the people, that's a stony heart, with the malignity of the root. When you go into that word malignity, it goes into being able to be extremely evil. That's why you see all kind of wickedness on the earth. We have no bounds when it comes to wickedness. The only ones who have bounds when it comes to wickedness is the hopeful elect. We don't do sins unto death. All right. We ain't out here uh, serving other gods, committing adultery, being a homosexual, you know, um, murdering people. We're not doing things like that. Oh, bestiality, all that stuff, all that abomination shit. We don't do stuff like that. But do we sin? Yes, we do. You know, um, this is something that you cannot overcome until you change. That's why the scripture says flesh and blood should not enter to the kingdom of heaven. That's what we in right now. So it says so that the good departed away and the evil abode still. All right. So this is what it is. We're going to continue to struggle in the flesh until we change. But this is why I always encourage people to pray. That the Lord take not the Rakhak Wadash, which is the Holy Spirit, away from you and cast you not out of his presence and to give you strength to endure. Also, ask the Lord to give you the ability to offend less. That's in uh, Ecclesiasticus 17. I ain't going to get it, but it's 17 verse. I mean, a uh, chapter 17, verse 24 through 26. All right. So, um. The Lord got us, man. It said the steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh Bashem Abishai, and he delighteth in his way. So the hopeful elect steps, and we have to say hopeful elect for you people out there. I remember over the years, you got people talking about, you got people scared to say the deity elect. You got people talking about the hopeful elect. Like, nigga, you, you must don't read the scriptures. All right. We are not there 
to number ourselves among that number. Each day, as the scripture, as Yahweh Shah told his disciples, he said, you know, basically uh, the day have problems of itself. So don't be worrying about the future. You got to worry about today. I could be doing this video tonight because it's 1241 a.m. And then I could wake up and be a demon. Hey, that's how serious this truth is. Ain't nobody um guaranteed to make it. That's why Yahweh Shah said the best. He that endured to the end. But the steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh Bashim Abishai, and he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. That's the point. That's why I wanted to make this video. It's an encouragement through the scriptures. Because I'm a nobody. All right. We're going to speak the word this way. All right. So I'm highlighting Yahweh Shai because he is the volume of the book. All right. Yahweh Shah is the word. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, as it say in John 1 14. You know, but you're going to fall. You're going to fall a lot. All right. But you ain't going to be utterly cast down, which means that the Lord ain't going to cast you out of his presence. All right. You're going to offend less. You will be better. All right. It said, For Yahweh upholdeth him with his hand. So the Lord holding our hand, man. And actually, this goes into John 10 when it said that can't nobody pluck you out of my hand. And then um, Yahweh Shah said that. And then he said, nobody could pluck you out of my father's hand, which is stronger than I. So we are upholded through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. If you are humble and understand that you need the Lord, don't get too proud. I want to say it's 18 and 27, but I, I'm, I'm going to just go there. I want to say it's the 27th verse. Yep. That to make sure a wise man will fear and everything and in the day of sinning. See, the scripture is telling you that you're going to be sinning. There's nothing you can do about it. But in the day of sinning. He will beware of fence, but a fool will not deserve time. So your fool don't repent. A fool just go continue to sin upon sin, which is called iniquity in the scriptures. They don't repent. They're not mindful. All right. They want to feel sad when judgment is staring in their face. All right. You got you got these um gang members killing, killing other gang members. But then when they get when they hear that gavel hit the um. <laughs> hit the um I don't even know what it's called shit but when it hit the when the gavel hit the desk all right or when the hammer hit the gavel whatever it go however it goes that whole face change all right I seen a lot of men go into the courtroom they was hard in the street but as soon as it said a life or 25 years oh they start crying they start acting a fool that's when you want to feel sorry don't feel sorry when it's too late so that's why I said, but a fool would not observe time. But in the day of sitting, all right, a wise man would fear, all right? Because when we go off, you got to understand that it's not us that go off. Let me prove it. I got to get this in the NLT, though. I'm going to jump around in Romans 7. said so the trouble is not with the law for it is spiritual and good the trouble is with me for i am too all too human and a slave to sin i do not really understand myself for i want to do what is right but i don't do it instead i do what i hate and that's the truth man this is why out of all the chapters in the book this is one of my top three chapters because this really explains paul was a great man all right Anybody want to talk about him before the Lord enlightened him? That's stupid because we all had a past before the Lord enlightened us. But I'm talking about when the Lord put the Holy Spirit on him. This is a great man. That's why majority of the New Testament is him doing the work. He done all he done more work than all the apostles. All right. The twelve. He's not greater than the twelve. He's not going to be in the. Stead of the 12, but he did more work than them. So 
So that and, and, and right there, that shows you that the Lord have mercy on who he have mercy on and have compassion on who he have compassion on. Because just by what Paul did, he should have been a part of the 12, but he's not. But anyways, I don't really understand myself for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. I instead I do what I hate. But if I know that what I am doing is wrong, this shows that I agree that the law is good. So I am not the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. And I know that nothing good lives in me. That is in my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. All right. So that's why I hope this video is encouraging because this is something that you're whatever you're struggling with, you're going to struggle with until the end. Don't allow Satan to get into your mind to make you feel that you ain't shit. Now, at the end of the day, we ain't shit. But I'm, you know what I mean when I'm talking about Satan making you feel like you ain't shit. I'm talking about he make you feel like you ain't a man or a woman of the Lord who believes because you have problems sometimes. You fail sometimes. Don't allow Satan to get into your mind to make you feel like you ain't a man or woman of the Lord. All right. This is something that the Lord ordained. There's nothing we can do about it. That's why in Psalms 34 and 18, he said he is nigh unto them that have a broken and contrary heart and save of them. All right. The sacrifices of the Lord is a broken and contrite spirit. All right. So having a contrite spirit is contrite means to feel guilty. That's what the Lord wants. Because when you are, as the scripture says in Ecclesiastes 7, it said that a wise man heart is in the, uh, a wise man heart is in the house of mourning. Because when you are mourning, guess what? Godly sorrow, work of repentance that lead up unto life. Worldly sorrow, work of repentance. Actually, worldly sorrow lead up unto death. Worldly sorrow don't make you repent. So that was a slip up. But um, but yeah, let's continue. I don't want to do what is good. I want to, I want to do what is good, but I don't, I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. And now I'm going to jump to the last 24 and 25. Oh, what a, oh, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death. And actually verse 24 is better in the KGB. So let's get it. O oh, wretched man that I am, who should deliver me from the body of this death? I think the most high through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of the most high, but with the flesh, uh, the law of sin. All right. So verse 25 is going to your integrity. See, the Lord is going to judge you on your integrity, your intents. See, we attempt to do good 24 seven. All right. We attempt to do good. We attempt to be perfect, but hey, we can't do it. And I want to end it on this. Because when you go into this word seven times, right? So it says, for a just man fall of seven times and rise up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. So I think the word Shabbai. Yep. So um, how you say it in Hebrew is Shabbai. And when you go into this word, I'm looking for the word indefinite, right? So when you go into this word indefinite, matter of fact, let's just get it. Didn't mean to do that. But um, when you go into the word indefinite, as you see, it said lasting for an unknown or unstated length of time. We know how long it's <laughs> until we change. All right. So and then when you go down here, where is it at? Um... I, don't think, I think where, where did I read this at? But anyways, in a number sense, right? When you go into the word indefinite in a number sense, it, it goes into limitless, infinite, endless. All right. So an unknown, unstated length of time and limitless, limitless, endless, and infinite. So that means that we're going to continue to struggle with this until we be changed. But the difference is, listen to me. The difference is, is that we don't do this every day. We don't offend every day. As in, you know, we don't just 
basically do willingly. We don't willful sin every day. Some things you can't help. Like I said, the Lord said, if you offended one, you offended all. So when you put on a damn t-shirt, that's not all one fabric. You sin. And guess what? You're guilty of all. So that's why you have a shot came. That's why um, the Lord is very merciful because he did send his son. And now he's on our behalf. He's speaking on our behalf to the father as um at the, the prayer of John 17. He said that I pray for them. I pray not for the world. And that's talking about all of Israel. He only play for he only pray for the hopeful elect, which we aspire to be. So for all you men and women who believe, do not allow Satan to take your crown because he's working on your weaknesses. The Lord knows that you're weak. The Lord knows that you're not going to be perfect. All he wants you to do is try and we do try but we fail all right we fail and hey it is what it is man so lord willing um it made sense i think satan is fucking with me right now because i can't get my words out um or i can't articulate right now i'm getting a little cloudy headed but i think i said enough but the point is is that we on a we um that's why the lord call it the straight gate all right the straight gate is not easy that's why the broad lead up into destruction. The people that's in the broad, they don't repent. They ain't worrying about trying to do right. So they're not mindful of doing right. They're going to continue to live after their heart desire. So we walk in the spirit to the best of our ability. Matter of fact, that's a great scripture to end it on. It said this, I say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the flesh lust of against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would. So we walk, we do our best to walk in the spirit, which is the word. The spirit is the word. All right. So we understand the word. We try to follow the word to the best of our ability. We do fail sometimes, but the Lord uphold us. So all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Hopefully this video is encouraging. Inshallah, Wong.